today we're gonna be stancing out the OBS. We're at Ethan's shop. Huge shout out to Ethan. Give him a follow on Instagram uh, for always letting us use his shop. Our shop definitely is not big enough for this behemoth of a truck to fit in. So in this video, we got a bunch of stuff to do. We got new headlights, a new grill, we got a new bumper, we got new wheels. We'll show you some of the stuff in the back here. Look at these crispy Mamba wheels. Here's the bumper and uh, my favorite mod of them all, which I'll show in a second. And then here is the grill. Here is the headlights. I'll uh, we'll get an unboxing clip here in a second. Okay, little eBay unboxing real quick. I'm gonna make this real real quick because you're gonna see the parts on the truck anyway. Um, so we got the the baller looking clear headlights for the 73 OBS. Um, they got the clear um, blinker and. Two. So these are going to be sweet. Here is what a 3 inch 8x 6.5 spacer looks like. Put your Gigantic. Hand like, <laughs> it's huge. This is a big spacer, but the offset of our wheels is negative 44. So even with this on, it's not going to be super insane. We got the grill. It's the big uh, chrome shiny one. That's what we're up to in this video. Putting all this stuff on, stancing out my graduation present. My name's Chad. Click the subscribe button with notifications right now. My name's Chad. Yeah, that's my graduation gift, dude. Mom hooked me up. Mom. Oh my god, Chow. I'm gonna use that on my death cart. Do it. First thing to go is this really ugly crash bar, bull bar, brush guard. I've heard these things called so many names. Now we just gotta rip the rest of the front end off. Nice. Look at this, factory crash bar, dude. Nice frame. Yeah, too bad we gotta cut these frame rails off. You have to cut them off? Yeah, we have to cut them off on the end. All right, bumpers off, headlights, grill. Without the grill? Yeah, without the grill and the bumper, it looks like a project truck, like, well, all naked. For like a few hours. Yeah, I mean, you're right. For a, honestly, this is really easy to work on. I mean, it's been I've, simple so far. I've, yeah, I've not, I'm not that frustrated yet. <laughs> we'll see. It's really simple. <laughs> we'll, we'll see when we get. So far. <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. Is is that the correct orientation? I'm like messing with the new lights. It's three separate pieces. Yeah, those are good looking. Project OBS. Oh my God! You said the guy spin up your hand on the air. <laughs> oh God, I like that. Dude. Yes. <laughs> These are the bumper brackets for the six four bumper conversion and I really do have to chop these off. I already started right here, as you can see. Got some clean metal there, but I gotta chop this back. I'll, I'll put a picture up right now of the what the website shows. It's been a couple hours now, and we haven't made super a lot of progress yet, but this, uh, it's not even the radiator support. The radiator support is here. This is like literally the headlight and grill support. It needs to come off. Nice. They're finishing up the headlights uh, with this weird thing here, this weird piece. Uh, I got the bumper kind of test fitted on there. You can see the fresh cuts on that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and secure that down and uh, start tightening that stuff up. Still haven't got to the wheels yet, believe it or not. Still haven't got to the wheels yet. It's been a couple hours already, so I might do that. I might, I might actually do the front wheels while they're working on that. These are so bald. I know. It's These funny. are so bald. <laughs> it's a good thing you're putting whole new wheels on. No, it has like negative on offset. Oh yeah, boys. Bro. Okay, look, look, look at look at look at it straight. Bro, I he am still, he still that. wants a spacer. Okay, well let's let's talk about this first. I put the biggest in spacer. I, I do man. not recommend this. A, this is not my daily. B, I'm doing this so when I wake up and I look out my window, it's sitting right there and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be destroyed. This down here is gonna get destroyed. I'm touching the ball joint. Ball joint. Way. That's gonna get destroyed. So this, this block of aluminum right here, I call this the wheel bearing and ball joint destroyer. But I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why you need one of these. That's what it's gonna look like, bro. That's not even bad. That's a fuck ton. No, it's not, dude. Look this, at how much. Look at. Okay, this that's, isn't just a fuck ton. This is okay, a metric fuck ton. Fine. This is way. I'll much. give him metric fuck ton. But can we talk about how much is left in there? None. No bullshit. That's the problem. Bullshit. 
Okay. There's two inches left. There you go. <laughs> That's a problem. I need to put another spacer on that spacer. Let's bolt this Let's on yep. and then lower it down and see how close this fitment is before okay. you try to lower the truck more. Okay, I like that. Because it's not like going to work. Because yeah, yeah. I'm going to lower it more. No. Because I, I, I see this wheel gap here. It's gonna zoom be in about, on this. This is going to be about here. It's going to be about you, half. Okay, so if that, if that's, I'm cool with that, but the back might have more because it's, well, yeah, it's, it's right. two wheel drive. It's lifted in the back. It's I don't right. like that. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels, though? They look really good. The wheels, good. The wheels Hey, they shout out, good. shout out Mamba Wheels, 285 4022. These are Nitto 420 Vs. Yo, 305 gang, bruh. 305 gang, bruh. I'm on that 285 gang. How about that? <laughs> Can't. Where's the jewel? Where's the jewel? Where's the jewel? Pocket. Let me get it. Let me. It's not even a jewel. Let me rip the jewel. Let me rip the jewel. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I Yo, hope. fucking 305 gang, you guys are dude. 285. This is gonna cough a lung out. I took a lot of <laughs> Mamba wheels. I will leave a link in the description um, for these exact wheels because, as you can see, these yeah. wheels are pimp as. They're pretty baller. Shout out Mama Wheels. The best looking wheel for uh, a black wheel themed truck. You either go black or polished. All right, we'll bearings. Oh, dude, this shit is. Oh my god, Ethan, bro. I can't even talk to you anymore. It's cold. Oh my god, look at Ethan. That was a meme. I'm going to save that. That's going to go viral. This shit looking fire, though. Mmm. The bumper is not tight, by the way. That's why it's sagging like an MF. So it's almost midnight, and we've made negative progress somehow. We've made negative progress. Yeah, remember when I said this was gonna be kind of easy? Yeah. yeah. Fail. All right. So this is how we're about to drive home. All right. So it's the next day. We ended up getting home last night at like three in the morning. Um, let me let me just explain what happened. Um, we're experiencing some. Minor technical difficulties, AKA full shambles as usual. Yeah, we, we go to start the truck at two in the morning, and guess what? Here. So here, here's our problem, ready? So, I had to go out this morning, buy a new starter, buy the new fender mounted solenoid, all because Chow, Chow fucked us. What'd you do, Chow? Yesterday when he was doing all the grill stuff, shout out Chow for doing all the grill stuff, but the truck's got two batteries and they're both brand new and he took the positive cable off of that side battery, forgetting that there was a second battery in it and he dropped the positive cable onto like the chassis of the truck, which possibly caused some sort of short because right after he did that, we couldn't start it. So yeah, that's what we're up to. We got to finish the stance here and the truck doesn't start, haha, <laughs> Ford jokes. Go ahead, comment below. Give me all the best acronyms for Ford that you could think of right now. I had to do one of these on the van, but I tried to jump the starter last night. I put 12 volts right on it from the batteries and they didn't go, so that's what made me think it was, uh, just do it all at once, I guess. The Freddy 40 has kindly replaced the starter solenoid for me. We're gonna attempt to start it right now. And if it doesn't work, it's the start. Go again. Go again? Yeah. Yeah, starter. Looks like I'm crawling underneath the truck. Good thing the starter is hella easy on this thing, that two-wheel drive life. So Freddy has kindly replaced the starter in literally two minutes because he's a professional mechanic, literally. Um, we're gonna attempt to start it. Hopefully it's a problem. Right now, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll see you right now. What the fuck is that? Might be the wrong starter. When you try your best and you don't succeed. Okay, Freddie, thank you. He installed literally the second starter for today. This truck has had two starters in it today. Take 55. Shout out my mom for hooking me up with this sweet graduation present.
Here is our, is this the third attempt? The third, third real attempt? Third starter. Third starter in one day, literally. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the back to complete the final piece of the puzzle. As you can see right there, I have the shackles out of the rear. I'm trying to have that wheel fitment or that wheel gap, if not maybe an inch lower in the rear. This is how I'm lowering it for anybody wondering. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And yes, I know the bumper fitment is horrible, but the plates are slotted, so everything's adjustable. Shout out Mamba Off-Road Wheels for sponsoring this video. I also have a mixer channel. If anyone wants to check that out, I'll have a link in the description. Um, I live stream Assetto Corsa with the simulator rig, with the wheel cam just like this, so definitely check that out if that's something that would interest you. Life OD on Mixer. I know the truck isn't everyone's taste, but I'm glad I was able to have a stock truck and be turning it into you know, my ghetto ratchet creation. That's it for this video. Definitely expect some bodywork and maybe paint in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss when we post about the OBS 7 III. 